So talking about some use cases, and again, this is some uh, real-world data from, from New Data customers that's been uh, sanitized for the presentation, but uh, to give you an idea of some of the things we're doing, um, this is a, a financial institution in the United States we're working with that has huge issues with, uh, with account takeover. Um, this is one of those institutions that just sees the sustained account takeover, not really the blips, but kind of uh, on, on average up to 50% of all of their login authentication traffic is account takeover traffic. Um, New Data works with them to identify and mitigate this traffic in real time. So one of the really interesting things you can see here is that uh, after we implemented, we found that 36% of all of their login events were either non-human automation or anomalous uh, login events. So you start to think about that, you know, a third of all of their login activity was activity you didn't want in the environment. And there's two real issues there. Number one, there's the issue around trust and safety. You don't want people taking over these accounts. You don't want people abusing the accounts. But there's another part that you really don't even think of. This particular bank is really, yeah, it's really important to them that they rank high. It used to be called Gomez. I know they changed the name of it, but the uh, kind of the industry standard around how quick your, your site works. It's very important to them that they're on the top of that ranking. Um, but the problem is, is if you need to now scale out your infrastructure, and you know, you think about your banks, this is you know, high volume, especially around your login. If you need to scale out your infrastructure, that 36% of your infrastructure is going to be supporting traffic that you don't want there just to keep the, the, the rankings right, there's a huge infrastructure cost. We, uh, New Data has another client where, where, on average, we're saving them up to double-digit millions a month on potential infrastructure costs from being able to identify anomalous or risky behavior occurring 